Oh my gosh, I'm a good cook. I can't tell you. Hey, welcome back to Mary's Kitchen. I've got a nice little recipe here for you. It's called overnight pizza, or at least that's what I call it because I make it the night before. So you can make it in the morning before you go to work, or you can make it at night, go to bed, get up in the morning, come home from work, and put her together in the oven. It's all set to go. As you can see right now, I'm just slicing crusts off of a loaf of bread. It doesn't have to be fancy. If you think I'm wasting, forget it. Now look at that. I'm so busy talking, I forgot the pan. Good gracious, Mary. Okay, we're just going to plop the bread in there like that. Now, it's all going to be covered, so don't pretend to get fancy, for heaven's sakes. Nothing worse than that. Oh, Craig, you know who I heard from? Erin Downey. Oh, really? So I want to say a hello to Erin. Bless her heart. Art Osborne, I talked to him. He said he won't come on the show until I get rid of that meat cleaver and that... Uh, Pillsbury dough tube. Because you're literally going to stuff the bottom of the pan with the bread. Cheese slices and pepperoni and some eggs. Oh, and some milk. And cheese slices, and we're going to layer them. Now you can use real mozzarella cheese sliced, but I find this is just way more convenient. Perfect. Now, the pepperoni, like I say, you can slice it yourself. I buy it already sliced. And all we're going to do is we're going to layer the pepperoni, and then we're going to do another layer of the bread. Then we'll make the sauce. There we go. Now we're just going to plunk another layer of bread. So depending on how you take your crusts off and how you slice your bread, one loaf should be enough. It's going to be beautiful. And then we're going to top it with the sauce. And the sauce is two cans of uh, pizza sauce and four eggs and a cup of milk. Four eggs. One, two, three, four. We're just going to snap those right in. Good, eh? I practiced that over the summer. This <laughs> pizza sauce. It's pizza, it's pizza, pizza. Oh, hello. Take the lid out. Not yet, but it will. See how it's just getting kind of milky looking? I always wondered about just heating this up. Until the eggs are cooked and see if it would be good over uh, pasta. Okay, and that's it. Pour it over the top. And then, like I say, it can stay in the fridge for a good day. Any kind of uh, cereal. I like Rice Krispies. But you can use cornflakes or Special K, I think. Just going to put that over the top and that's how come you take a piece of foil off for the last 10 minutes of cooking and this just crusts up nice nice. I've covered so it with foil, 350 on the oven, in it goes, like I say, I, I do 40 minutes. I'll uncover it at the back. I just took this out of the oven. It's all ready to go. Nice little squares. Toss salad. E yum. And it's the day before. Oh, here I go again, Craig. I can't get anything. I'm telling you, trying to open stuff, trying to get stuff out. Rachel Ray's probably having a heart attack right now. Oops, Daisy. It's really good. Sticky. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. And see? Really, basically. Oh, hello. Whoopsie. Whoopsie-daisy. 
Oh god, is this made with Pillsbury dough? Huge kebabers. I should have sprayed the pan a bit better. Oh yeah, right. Well, I gotta tell you, it's just delicious once I finally get it out of the pan. Where's my goodness? I need a guinea. There. See what I mean? Look at that. Oh, and it's steaming. And that sauce and the eggs. Ooh, and the milk. They've all marinated down. Now see, it did come out not too bad there. Here we go. Oh look, got right into that. Get that pepperoni. Ooh. Oh, I can take that whole thing. Oh, holy Toledo. I can't believe what a good cook I am. I scared myself. I tell you what, I'll see you next week. Take care.